the northern Italian town of Turin on the 19th of July, scientists and engineers from the European Space Agency held a press conference to celebrate the completion of a new satellite. But why so much fuss? Because this satellite, the Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer, referred to as GOCHE by ESA engineers, is set to answer some of the questions about one of today's hottest topics, climate change. After six years in development, the instrumentation carried on board GOCHE, the satellite set to become the world's most accurate means of measuring gravity, was on show in Italy at Talis Alenia Space, the company that's coordinated the project to date. Goce, with its streamlined aerodynamic structure, is the Ferrari of the satellite world when it comes to looks. But it's not only visually cool, in a world where function tends to win out over aesthetics, it's also going to play a vital part in ESA's Earth observation program. We have a fleet of satellites under development in our Explorer program, which uh, give really answers to uh, urgent scientific questions. This satellite here, this Gorge, is one of these uh, rather brilliant pieces to provide uh, very, very detailed information on the gravitational field of this planet. It does it with a precision which is unprecedented so far. It will be about a factor thousand more um, accurate than anything else done so far. Imagine a satellite that can measure a snowflake in the dark. Well, that satellite is Goche. Until now, Earth's gravity hasn't been measured to a very high accuracy across the world. So what we have now is only a fragmented global gravity field map. This Goche satellite will be the first ESA satellite dedicated solely to measuring Earth's gravity. It'll do this by orbiting Earth at a particularly low altitude of only 250 kilometers while taking measurements with incredibly sensitive instruments called gradiometers. We have a consortium of 10 institutes, scientific institutions throughout Europe who cooperate in this project and they tried to compose from all these measurements one global, very detailed gravity model. Once we have this gravity model, we derive scientific products from it. And very many uh, teams worldwide are involved in that. So we produce pictures of ocean circulation. Uh, we connect tide gauges all over the, over the world. For the first time, it would be possible to measure ocean circulation directly. And this is of enormous importance for issues related to climate change. But in what way does ocean circulation affect our climate? Ocean circulation is more or less the main mediator of our climate. The fact that in Europe we have nice comfortable temperatures is due mainly ocean circulation. The Gulf Stream brings warm water towards the north. And we have to understand whether these patterns can change and how this would affect the climate. But first you need data, you have to have evidence how these things really move. But it's not only information on ocean circulation that Goche can provide. The Goche mission will also improve our knowledge of the activity and dynamics of the Earth's interior. Gravity gives us a picture of the way in which uh, the mass inside the Earth changes. In earthquake zones and zones of volcanoes where uh, the, the, the Earth's crust is moving, uh, Gochi will give us information about the structure uh, beneath the surface and this gravity information will help us uh, improve our models uh, to predict uh, things like earthquakes in the future. Another benefit of the data provided by Gochi is a better understanding of sea level changes. This provides scientists with another tool for more accurately predicting climate change in the future. Gravity gives us access to a, a, a uniform global field which we can use as a reference to measure things like sea level. Um, having this reference allows us to assess um, the picture globally about how uh, sea level rise is, is taking hold. And from one country to the next, we'll be able to unify those measurements so that we have a, a worldwide picture of the influence of sea level today. After leaving Talis Selenia space next month, 
Deutsche will be put through a series of strenuous environmental tests at STEC in Holland to ensure it can stand the strains of its very low orbit before being shipped to Russia for launch in early 2008. Deutsche, uh, in combination with the other range of satellites we are doing, will provide a missing piece of information which is very important to understand our climate. It's this combination of information from many satellites that make up the most accurate global picture of our planet. A picture that is vital in enabling us to understand and respond to the problems that mankind will face in the future.